Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. What you are stood on right now is 4mm thick sheet steel. Picked it up the other day and what we are going to be making in this video is a fire basket. Cheers, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. So what we're going to do is this is going to be approximately, approximately around two foot by two foot or two foot square the only problem we have is that probably won't be two foot square right so I've got a diagram here very basic the diagram and basically we need two foot one side or actually no we're going to get rid of two foot we're going to do one and a half foot this is about 22 inches or 21 and 7 eighths inches wide half a foot is 18 inches you've got plenty of that and we've got around three inches left so the base of it is going to be one and a half inches by one and a half oh sorry one and a half foot by one and a half foot the walls coming up they are going to be one and a half inches tall it's not very tall but that's all i can work with and it's going to be about that tall should hopefully hold the fire or it should hopefully just hold the log in the basket so what we're going to do is we need to mark 21 inches and now we're going to want to go 21 inches down so now we're going to make it need to make it square so we've got the 21 inches down 21 inches across so now i'm going to get a ruler actually i need a straighter longer thing draw a nice straight line down there draw a nice straight line and that is our square that we are going to cut out. Right, so we have our 21 inch by 21 inch square cut out. So now, all we need to do is just fold down these bird edges and then we can start marking out the points where we need to cut out the corners so then we can fold everything up, weld it all up into the tray. Right, so you can fold all the edges down so everything is nice and long and sharp. So now, we're going to measure in one and a half inches and mark it. Okay, so we've got crosses on all four corners, and now what we need to do is 90 degrees from each, and bring them in, bring them in, and then we can cut out those corners, um, and then we'll be able to fold everything up into the tray. There you go, and then once we cut these corners out, then we can start bending everything up.
Right, so because I forgot to film it, I'm going to give you a little run through. All I've done now is I've scrubbed lines from one corner to the other. I've cut all the corners out. And now I'm just grinding a groove down each, just a groove, just so I can make this area here thinner. So I can fold it up a little bit easier because it's just going to take out that mass in there and make a weak point. And then that will fold up a little bit easier, I'm hoping. So let's get to it. Down there lifting me off the ground. It hasn't bent one bit. Ever so slightest bend, you know. <laughs> Oh dear. So, just off camera, we've just bent um, round side. What we did was we started from one end, worked our way down, worked our way down, worked our way down, and we're just nudging it on a bit so we cramp, nudge it, clamp, nudge it, clamp, nudge it, now clamp, nudge it. Then go back and do that a load of times, straight up on the swage block, which is very noisy. And yeah, we have ended up with a kind of 90 degree angle, which we'll do. So now, we've just got to do the other three sides. So, let's get to it. So I have come up with a rough design. I'm going to use three quarter inch square bar for the legs. Um, we've got four of them, and now one foot long each. Um, I'm going to flatten out the area of it, um, and then scroll it over. That will turn into feet. Yes, let's get to it. Right, so what we do? Take it down. out there that'll be the end of this video i do hope you enjoyed 
Um, there will be a part two to making the fire basket. So I shall hopefully see you in that video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.